Howdy partner. Today I'm going to show you guys how I travel with all my fishing gear. Stay tuned. We have been getting a lot of questions and a lot of comments asking us how do you travel with all your fishing stuff? How do you bring your rods? How do you bring your reels? How do you bring all your sinkers and tackle and all that stuff? And that's a really good question. Um, and I guess it isn't really too much common sense in that. Um, I figured out how to bring all my stuff on the airplane for pretty much free. Um, <clears throat> first off, fly Southwest. Southwest is great because it allows you two checked in bags for free. And it's great. And the, the prices for the tickets are great. Um, you can change those, you can change the dates on those uh, tickets that you've bought anytime. Uh, Southwest has always been really good for me. So first step, south, fly Southwest. Second step, when you're packing your reels, when you're packing your babies, your babies. they need to be protected, okay? So this wasn't even very protected. When I, when I pack my reels, I take the reels, this actual reel off so that there's no chance of it getting damaged. So it's like this. And then I wrap this up in a towel and put it into a big bag, along with my other reels. So in here I've got one, two, see these are the pouches I'm talking about. You can get these from Bass Pro, you can get these from online. You wrap your reels up with them. Got, oh that's where this reel went. Little tiny micro reel. And then, this isn't even mine. Steven, this is your mom's reel. <laughs> Anyways, when I pack my reels, I break them down, I put them into individual bags, and then I put it into a bigger bag, and this does not go in checked in luggage. They, they like to, the TSA likes to throw my bags around, and I don't want any chance of my very precious fishing reels to get damaged or broken. So what I do with this bag of reels is I put it in my backpack for carry on. That way I can protect it in my, right here, okay? I keep it right here at all times and I just kind of coddle it like this throughout the flight. And if they start making, you know, fussing and stuff, I just say And I kind of rock it back and forth a little bit. I'm just kidding, guys. You can't take yourself too seriously. Okay, and I'm not kidding about actually bringing it onto the plane and holding it in front of you. Um, that's the best way to keep your reel safe. Don't check it in. Carry on, okay? Next, for my actual rods and stuff, um, I, check that, I check that in. Um, but I do this with, I do this with the travel rod carrier. And this thing, I think it runs, the price tag here says 70 bucks, something like that, close to that. I got it from Bass Pro. I have many of these. And the way that these things work is there's a clip right here that you can put a lock on. There's a pin. You pull the pin. And this thing will extend. Oops. And this thing will extend to however, whatever length you need it. Then you put your rods inside this big tube right here. Maybe wrap it with a towel so it doesn't swing around. And then, and then you put the, you basically just put the pin back in and you check this in as oversized. And Southwest doesn't charge us extra for this. Um, when you go and pick up your rods, it'll be in oversized luggage. But it's kind of, I, I get weird looks sometimes because I'm walking around with what looks like a bazooka in the airport. <laughs> now, as for like all my fishing tackle, what kind of tackle should I bring? You know, that's, that's always a struggle for me is how much can I bring without being over 50 pounds? And like what all do I even need to use on that trip? So what you really need to do is think about what kind of fishing you're going to be doing most. The key of this is to be very compact and, and selective with what you bring. Um, so Southwest allows you two checked in carry-ons. 
Southwest allows you two checked in bags. I use one of those bags just for my tackle. So I have a whole suitcase just with my tackle. Now let me show you what I pretty much pack almost every time I go. Okay. In this bag, I've got all my lures, okay? These are my swim baits. I make individual boxes like this for different adventures. So this is my swim bait adventure. It's got all my jig heads in here, little smaller lures. This bag also has my swim bait stuff, leader line. Pretty much always bring the super salty squid nowadays. More swim baits. Yeah, so I make separate boxes and separate bags for different adventures that I think I'm gonna take. This is my swim bait bag, my lures bag. And then I've got my own bait box, terminal tackle box. So if I, I, I'm pretty much prepared at any moment to throw a high-low rig or a Carolina rig or a fish finder rig just by bringing this one box. I've got my lures and I've got my rigs. Um, these, these boxes are really similar to the same adventure kits that we make right here. We developed these because this is pretty much exactly what I do for myself anyways. Comes with a guide on um, how to fish these different places. Uh, this is a pier fishing one. Comes with all the stuff that I use for my pier fishing. This one is my surf fishing. Comes with all the stuff I use for the surf fishing. Um, and this is the jetty one. But I would bring just the boxes. I don't need the guide for myself. I'll bring just the boxes for the separate adventures. If you want to go on one of these adventures, this, the inlet, if you're going to the inlet, or if you're going to the surf, or you're going to the pier, I suggest you pick one of these up if you want to just get on some fish right away. Um, it's just, it's got a comprehensive guide on here that I've written myself on all the different advice um, that I've found to be true in a lot of the places that I fish. So hopefully this will get you on some fish. And if you're going on a trip soon, I always bring the super salty squid because it travels so well. Uh, you don't need to, a lot of times when I'm at a place, especially a really good fishing location, a lot of times there's not many bait shops around. Um, I like to go to more remote areas um, because I find the fish, the, the fishing in remote areas usually is a lot better than somewhere where it's very, very populated. Um, and I've encountered this problem in Mexico where there were no bait shops anywhere. It was so hard to find any kind of bait shops. That's why I was so glad I brought myself my own super salty squid. I didn't have to go out and scout out for bait every day. Um, instead, I was scouting out for bait on the beach and using this. I put all this stuff in my backpack. And then, I put it in here, and whatever other fishing gear that I, I use, minus the reels, reels stay with me, and I check this in. And then I have my regular luggage that I check in. Um, but yeah, that's it. This is not the only way to do it, this is the way I do it, and it, it's been working out for me for, for years and years. Um, Hopefully this can help someone, inspire someone to maybe take a trip. Hopefully this can help people travel with their fishing gear, with the appropriate fishing gear. I know a lot of you guys travel to go on vacation with the family or whatever, and don't bring your fishing stuff because you don't think you'll have enough room or whatever. It's very doable, it's very doable. And if you don't wanna use, if you don't wanna use your, a big rod tube, bring a telescopic rod. A telescopic rod will fit right in your backpack and you can just bring it with this in your backpack. Bring one of your adventure kits and you're good to go. I wanna encourage everyone out there to get out of their comfort zone and see what the fishing's like around the world. That's what we've been doing for the past year and a half, two years, and it's been really fantastic because a lot of the skills that we've learned fishing right here, it applies all over the world. So if you know how to fish in one area, you can figure out how to fish in another area. 
and it feels really rewarding when you when you actually are able to catch fish in another country you've never been in before. It's really fun. Anyways, that's my little talk. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it it can inspire you. I hope you can learn something. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any more hacks that you want to let me know about that that uh, can save me even more money. If you liked our episode, like and subscribe. We have a little notification bell next to the subscribe button. If you push that, you'll be notified every time we put it out an episode. And we put out an episode four times a week, so you don't want to miss any of that. If you want to try the super salty squid or you want to try an adventure for yourself, go to SenkoSkipper.com. See you guys.